everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Place of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. We've been rolling lately. We're gonna play as Isaac. Uh, and the reason we're gonna play as Isaac is because I wanna re-roll. This is brought up. Uh, finally, the backlog is percolated out to the point where the formula is available. And people have told me you cannot use the old method to unlock the loss. That was the prevailing wisdom. If that ends up being a misconception, like essentially so be it at this point. Uh, I mean, you, you gotta take nine lives here. Even if it will definitely kill you, unless this has a spirit heart in it. Um, we gotta give it a shot, I think. We, are we just gonna die? No, 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 because you respawn with one full HP with nine lives. So worst case scenario, we're gonna lose a life here. We don't want to get hit again because then we'll respawn in the devil room, walk in here, and I guess it doesn't matter that much, but okay, <laughs> sure, oh, fine, <laughs> okay. Oh, we didn't die, all right. Anyway, long story short, um, if we have to use, what is this floor? It's so small. If we have to use mom's box of trinkets, we might as well give ourselves the maximum chance to get mom's box of trinkets by carrying around a reroll at all times. I, we can always find missing poster from random sources as well, but uh, he, the other thing is that in the comments that I, I suggested or uh, solicited on Twitter, people said the jury's out on, as to whether or not you can do it with any character other than Isaac. So it's actually uh, plausible that maybe all those Eden runs where I was trying for missing poster may or may not have worked to actually unlock the loss if we'd done it anyway. I think it probably would have, but... Let's be honest, the fact that I was uh, asking for so much feedback to determine how we were going to do it kind of undermines that point to begin with, I would suggest, because it's clear I didn't really know what the heck I was talking about. <laughs> That's probably uh, going to be able to allow us to access the secret room. We continue to get, I mean, to be honest with you, this is pretty much the ideal outcome for uh, Tinted Rocks on the first floor, when you have one bomb, is to get uh, a bomb back and a spirit heart from each one. I'm not disappointed about that at all. But can we feel the love tonight? It is where we are. It's enough to quell YouTube commenters. Yeah, okay. It's not there? Well, there's only one other location for it. I, I think I'd rather have this than five poison bombs, and, and poison bombs that last forever even. Um, although many people might disagree with that. Got more rerolls. There's no way I could have known those were coming, but either way, I'm happy for the battery charge. We can reroll our boss room. Um. See, the thing is, it would be good to get an arcade, but obviously that's not gonna happen, or it's not gonna happen naturally, at least. I thought a bomb would be likely to do it. We could have blown up the judgment if we got HP. We could have played the blah blah, but. Kind of felt like we were uh, doing the right thing there. Because I was like, if this somehow gives us like a dime for blowing it up, then we can play the Judgment, get some HP. We're obviously not going to get HP here, but we're also not going to use our reroll here. Um, because even with two rerolls, I think the odds of us getting something better than Cube of Meat are extremely low. We could get something uh, situationally better. Like, we need HP more than we need Cube of Meat right now, but... To get something demonstrably better, unlikely, I'd say. Okay, you're about to get cracked, mister. Upside the gobber. Man, remember when you what mate was big on the internet? I've been in this business a long time. I remember making a joke when I played Eldritch in like 2014. I'll smack you upside the gobber, you what mate. Wow, those were the days. Um, D-A-E, Harlem Shake. Now it's, you know, you, extremely small brain. You what, mate? Me, Galaxy Brain 2017. Nani? Not my finest work right there. In the humor department or in the uh, commentary department or in the gameplay department, but... You know, this ain't SNR. A famous department store that I believe only existed in my hometown. <laughs> so as a result, it's probably not a great reference. But anyway, hey, the Halo, that's a good one. Um, hmm, DAE local businesses. The, uh, our, our local department store, because I grew up in the 1950s, we still had a department store in our hometown that wasn't a chain. Um, it got replaced with a Milestones, a British Columbia based 
4 out of 10 chain restaurant. I'm not trying to... I've only eaten at Milestones once. I'm not gonna besmirch the whole establishment. Only the one that I ate at, which was just terrible. Just a horrible experience. But if you if you got one in your town and it's working for you, more power to you. Also, oh Canada, our home and native land. Okay, don't lose your deal with the devil chance just by being an idiot. And don't pick up this key yet. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. We, uh... Ugh, I am a stupid man. Uh, we don't want to... Pick up the key yet, because the key is... A battery charge in disguise. We already have six keys. It's not like there's an urgent request for us to pick one up. Why am I using Cuba meat here? Brain, just... You're trying to rush a little bit here, and you're making really poor mistakes. You're throwing... You're doing fine, but you're throwing away spirit arts you don't need to throw away. Just come through here. Get this guy to run into some fires. Your life's gonna be so much easier than you even understand right now. You got the deal with the devil sewn up, even though you've taken a lot of really, really stupid damage. You're gonna be fine. You got every advantage you could conceivably ask for. It's some kind of wonderful. Now, I am starting to... realize that maybe my lizard brain is onto something, because... Our damage is just god-awful. Okay, sure, take six spirit hearts off of me. See if I care. We got a key piece. Yeah, yeah, just wa- Okay, now. There is no excuse for that. Anyway, let's uh, get strong enough to win easily. So that I can- Apparently, today's gonna be one of those days, or this run's gonna be one of those runs where I play like a- Like a dang fool. Up in here, up in here. Don't take that yet. Um... I, I will take the knife. I'm just going to spoil that for you right off the cut. The knife is very good. We got a, a pseudo streak. That's not worth it. Even for the limited, like, cost. Which it really is quite small in that situation. It's not worth it. Um, so the knife is just... Unbelievable. As far as item quality goes. And you know what? I probably would have been a little bit more primed to not take the knife. If the game hadn't said, hey, you know it would be a lot of fun? Fighting an angel statue with base damage. Maybe I'm getting a little snobby, maybe I'm getting a little entitled, the capital E word. You're good. Um, now you die. <laughs> was just about to say. You want to be a little careful as you come through this next section, because your knife could poke something, but that's okay. Took a little damage. You take a little drink, ways. you do a little dance and then you drink a little water. What I got, I gotta take it to the shop now. I gotta get a trinket box now. Okay, I'm gonna stop that. Mostly because my wife's right outside the room doing dishes and I'm embarrassed. Um, so, I mean, these are good, but if we want to commit to the reroll, we should do this. And we got, this is a good opportunity for it, to be honest, because we have two... Uh, Rerolls and two items. So even though these items are good, I'm really I'm having fun with the Zane. Don't get me wrong. I've had a smile on my face the whole time. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but give me that PhD. Yeah, amazing. Um, but I do want to. Oh, I at least want to get the monkey off my back here. Get into a situation where we. Uh, a little bit more forward momentum, a little bit of progress towards the save file, which was the initial conceit for starting, you know, the one video a day sort of shenanigans to begin with. It's the idea, at least. Excuse me, sir. Or madam. Uh, yeah, okay, this is a tough one, because actually, uh, shielded tears are fine. If not really that good. Uh, but we the, the pool of items in the secret room is so much better. That I do find myself feeling a little whelmed. Does that make sense? I think I'm stealing this from a, a comedian. There's underwhelmed, overwhelmed. Whelmed would just be normal, right? Yeah, I'm feeling whelmed. Like picking up that item would be very whelming. Which sounds nice on it. It sounds comforting. I'm whelming like a Tuesday morning. <laughs> That's why I'm whelming. 
overwhelming. Oh, Tuesday morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, uh, I see the battery charge. This is perfect. I mean, it would have been more perfect if we hadn't taken damage, but also, what the heck is going on with our floor generation? We got boss fights, like, right next to the spawn over and over. That wouldn't have done a heart. I wasn't even scared. Okay, so we're probably not going to reroll that. That item is acceptable. Blood clot's fine in this situation. We're going to make up so much time. This is, like, the bo most boss rushable run in Earth's history. That's a reroll and a pickup. Oh, my lord. Magic mushroom. I I mean, a damage upgrade is a good get. We have three battery charges, my lord. Um, but maybe we'd be better off, like with Mom's Knife, maybe we'd be better off just getting an HP upgrade at this point. Acceptable Ansus. We definitely want to take Black Rune out of here, so. The Gauze, purge that. Full vision. Blank rune is Yera, so we get two black runes. And two Burkanos, which I'm just gonna use. We could use two black runes on one floor. That's not that uh, big of an ask, honestly. So we have a shop, we got a mini boss, we got some item rooms, obviously. Uh, I think we got a really good opportunity to make leaps and bounds here. And I'm starting to get a little tingling sensation in the base of my spine. Could it be the ASMR video I have open in another tab? Absolutely not. Well, maybe. Um, but what it actually is, is a, a premonition of the not-deadly variety. Just a totally whelming premonition <sighs> that we uh, have a, reason a reasonable chance to get a missing poster on this floor. That's my hope, at least. Well, we have a, a reroll right off the bat. Okay, don't get distracted. You're in a very good spot right now. Just hold steady. That's worth it. Even if it doesn't work that well with uh, Mom's Knife. I was going to say with Nine Lives. It works fine with Nine Lives. Um, even if it's not going to work that well with Mom's Knife, we still go for it. For obvious reasons. We might not have Mom's Knife forever. Well, that... We might not have exclusively Mom's Knife forever. You never know. Like, there's some... Like, Hemolacria? How does that synergize with Mom's Knife? Maybe you shoot out a, a bomb of knives? In all likelihood, I imagine you probably just continue to have a, a single knife. But <laughs> let's ignore that. Two, two of clubs again. So we're up to 24 bombs. Not a daily, so... I mean, we are doing dailies again, kind of scatter shot, but we're, we're filling them out as the, as time permits. Um, and we still got love for the streets. It's the D A I L Y. That's a reroll. Eh. Bomb synergies are starting to stack up a little bit here. We're not going to take blank card, even though it's kind of tempting. What we do want to do is get. Uh, and to be honest with you, let's let's slow our roll here because there's actually a lot of opportunities. Uh, for us to get some advantages here. First off, we need the money. Secondly, this one's for the show. Uh, three to get ready now. Go, can't go. Try to find a secret room. We need the money again. Um, but the mob trap room, also valuable. I would love to pick up a Joker card. We cost ourselves a deal with the devil on this floor. Which means, uh, I think because it's an XL floor... Uh, the penalty is actually uh, decremented. I was going to say dampened, but it's, the, the penalty should not exist on the next floor. It, it gets dampened to zero, I think. There's our charge. Oh, my lord. It's just like, it's the easiest call, and yet I find myself wanting to use Black Rune because it's like mildly higher value. Because you get two items out of it, but I think... Yeah, I think that was probably the right way to play it. Get a little closer to spun, which I, I couldn't have expected, but I'm happy about it. I totally... We still have an item in our reroll. In our, in our secret room, I should say. Okay, that's... Good to know. I totally forgot about that. Because we got a couple of things that we could reroll here. And we are not going to really be ahead of schedule. But that's uh, pretty much exclusively because I slowed things down deliberately to... 
make ourselves a little bit more... Uh, play in more intelligently, I guess, would be the way to describe it. Okay. We have three or four battery charges. I think we'll grab one, peep this, shield the tears become shovel. Do that. Because the other item that's left, uh, the other items, I should say, are glitter bombs and uh, blood clot, both of which are completely takeable. Though I might want to reroll glitter bombs. So, I mean, blank card black rune is also mighty tempting. Don't get me wrong. We also wanted to reroll our shop because the, there were items in it, but I, I don't see how we get the money. And th that's actually foolish now that I think about it. Obviously, we could get the money just by blowing up the donation machine. So I'll tell you what. Uh, we're going to suck up blank card with black rune. Stop. That ended up being quite nice. We're going to go to the shop and see if we get absurdly lucky. And get mom's box of trinkets. We did not. We should honestly try again. Yeah. Okay, that's as good as it gets there. Uh, and then we'll take glitter bombs. We'll take blood clot and we'll get out of your hair on this floor. Because this has been like a pretty long one. Yeah, at 15 minutes, I would say our odds of getting to boss rush on the very low side. Even with mom's knife or no mom's knife. Mini mush? No mini mush, but a single penny. And we still are awaiting the day that we get that, you know, the magnum opus of trinkets. Because we're not worried about boss rush so much, let's go back. We want to grab the other black rune, which is amazing. And I know I said I'm not worried about boss rush, but you know if you know me that I'm probably still going to try to rush to make boss rush even though we're a full floor behind and I'm looking to make a deal. Like the Charlie Daniels band. It really seems like one of those songs, you know, um, the devil went down to Georgia. We were looking for a shoulder shield. We were going to buy because he was, et cetera, et cetera. I really, oh, we could totally make boss rush because it's an XL floor. I really want Charlie Daniels at the end of that song. Unless Charlie Daniels isn't the singer, because, you know, that does happen. Bands that are named after the uh, somebody that isn't the singer. Uh, Rush, of course, with Jeffrey Rush on bass. You better start believing in ghost stories. You're in one! I don't know why he's Scottish. Anyway. Um... Jay Giles band, my love runs cold, my my memory has just been, see I almost forgot the lyrics to centerfold there temporarily, I know you were saying NL, you gotta go see a doctor, I'm with you on that, if uh, if I start to forget the lyrics to the Jay Giles band, Jay Giles band classic centerfold, it's time to see a neurologist, or at least Dr. Dre. There's got to be a Van Halen. Does Eddie Van Halen sing? It seems like one of those things that you would expect. Like it's common knowledge, but I don't know it. You know? You ever hear the expression "common sense is neither common nor sensical"? Take us. I'm not sure how much I believe in the second half of that, but yeah, common sense is common. I understand that. Common sense is always going to be a little learned. Steam sale. We want it. Uh, there's only one shop remaining. I don't like the way I said we want it there. Not because of the we. <laughs> that implies. It's like a little man inside of my brain driving the bus. Uh, more the fact that it sounded like Veruca Salt straight out of the 1977 Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory movie. Which, I guess the 70s one is actually called Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, but you'll, you, you know, digress. That's right. Most people say, I, I'll digress, or I digress. Nah, this time you digress. Digress yourself down, mister. Lovely item, but we we need to keep the pedestal alive to give us uh, a payout here. As much as I wish it weren't so. A couple of battery charges remain. Again, we I, I almost took it. We can't take sharp plug. It doesn't matter how good it is. We actually don't want to take anything here. Unless, uh... Oh, nice. Uh, I mean, we want to reroll that. But I think we'll probably just suck it up instead. Try to blow this guy up. Maybe you can get two things. Eh. 
There's a speed and a tears upgrade, which is useful. Um, we really shouldn't take anything except the box of trinkets. It's our last opportunity to get something out of this. Uh, we should we should endeavor to do as best as we can here. You know, how many items could there be on the shop? 40? It's, it seems like a pretty liberal... The per throw was too fast to work. 40 seems like a pretty liberal estimate. Are we going to get 40 rerolls? No, absolutely not. But we can get we can get up there. Could be a per throw. Might as well uh, wait until... Okay, that's a per throw. We still might as well wait until we go back with another charge anyway, just to save time. We might be able to have our cake and eat it too here. So forget boss rush. This is actually, uh, the way I see it, it's a real chance. Whoa, you jerk. It's a real chance for us to get uh, a stab at mom's box of trinkets. We just got to focus. I, I'm very guilty I get into these uh, algorithmic sort of moods where I'm like, I just want to start it. There's like a, a groove in my brain has been worn so deep that I just... That's Mr. Meesix. I thought that was a little chest, which can maybe give you what you want sometimes. But um, I'm I'm guilty of getting into this situation where I'm like, I want to boot up Isaac. I want to do 10 Isaac runs today that are just executing on this pattern. You know, the, the pattern that has nothing to do with unlocks. The pattern that is just make that first deal with the devil. Get that on, uh, not unlock. Make that first deal with the devil. Get that item that, you know, elevates you above average. And then just grind out a victory over and over and over and over and over. Um, and that's a good, I mean, that's part of the, a part of my personality that whether you know it or not, if you've watched a lot of my content, it should resonate with you. That's why I'm over here publishing, you know, like three to 300 videos a day uh, consistently for the past five years. Something ridiculous. I don't know. I have, uh, there's, a, there's something either very right or very wrong up there that leads to that happening. I mean, it's, I hate passing up on these items, but, um, but it's also, it, it creates a staleness sometimes or a sense of over familiarity, I'll admit as well. Just why I try to mix it up with a little Zane. I gotta act, uh, and we should go back immediately. I didn't mean to pick that up, actually. Might as well on Seuss. We also might as well jump. Sorry, I've got Van Halen stuck in my head after making the reference. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. If only, you know, restock might be worth it. But there's, now that I think about it, it's not. Because we can't get a second item if we ever buy restock. Restock is the last item that doesn't get restocked by definition. So... I still believe that we're going to make this happen. If we do it long enough, we're probably going to get Mom's Box of Trinkets. There will probably come a point where we're out of rerolls. And uh, because we were unable to take Sharp Plug, it just is what it is. Like, you know, it, when we hit the heat death of the universe, that's where, that's where things are going to stop, probably. Must give me a weird sense of gravitas. To work on, like, you know, as an astrophysicist. That's a very good pill right now. And work on, like, theorizing, you know, okay, best case scenario, this is when the whole universe as we know it is going to be eradicated. I think we probably justify this. But then Odd Mushroom, I mean, I think we take advantage of the fact that there's a reroll machine. See if we can get something out of it. I don't want to use my own rerolls because those are very precious to me right now. But we can do better. Ah, I mean, we can do better than that too. But I don't really want to. Yeah, see, you see the problem. Uh, I mean, same thing here. I kind of want to reroll that too. But I don't think we're getting mom's box of trinkets out of it. So, you know. Oh, what do you do? Oh, I, I manage uh, eight subways. I'm a pillar of action in our local community. What do you do? Oh, I'm the guy who wrote the paper that said in 10 billion years, you know the only place 
that we know of is gonna have no more energy and is gonna rip itself apart in the big crunch. But anyways, tell me more about the new rotisserie chicken sandwich you guys have got over there. Wow, it looks like you've really upped your game. It's kind of like the universal one-up in every situation, isn't it? No, I was at work yesterday. My boss was being a real jerk. That's funny. I was at work yesterday and I spoke with my boss about how even if mankind makes it off of this planet and onto another one and another one and another one, eventually the laws of physics as we know it dictate that life in this universe will cease to exist, casting us into, into a bleakness that nobody is really aware what will happen. Uh, but one thing's for sure, it will be cold. That's not the item. That's not the item. That's the item! Okay, okay, so now... We've done the first half of our goal. <laughs> Which is not very optimistic. But I'm optimistic now. Oh, dude, bloody crown. It's a good, gives us item rooms on the chest, please. Or uh, on the womb, I should say. Sign me up. Alright, now I'm feeling like a lot better about this situation. There's another 48 hour energy down here, right? Like... In fact, there's there's even more. That's not missing poster. It looks like it, but it's not. Um, we also need to find a self-sacrifice room after we get the missing poster to show up. So we got a long road still, but this is the first time in several videos we've even had like a shot. Easy money, a Polaroid, a deal with the devil. Oh, I mean, like you gotta. Look at this, and you go, please, give me the incubus. And then, yeah, it did really work. Okay, we got nine lives, so we'll try to make this guppy dream come true. We got permanent Polaroid invincibility. There was another battery charge. I will always, if we fail this run, or we fail to find what we're looking for, I will always look back on that as a potential what if, I suppose. But it's probably more like a what whiff. I doubt it's going to make a difference. <laughs> it was. It's trying to double battery charges. In fact, we should consider that. Hello? Hello! Um, like, we could, if we chose to or wanted to, um, wait for a payout from Runebag? Hope it's a Yera, and then just try to create a room with, like, as many battery charges as you could ever conceive of. Obviously, we can keep using our own battery charges in the interim period. I like it. I like it. Keep it up. Yeah, that's ideal. Thank you. We're not doing anything with our keys. I, I respect and appreciate this. Ah! We've had so many XL floors. I can't believe, I mean, I, I can because we kind of stuck to an ulterior motive on this run. But even then, I'm like a little surprised that we managed to not make boss rush with mom's knife and two XL floors out of the first, you know, three possible XL floors. Your attempt to woo me with trinkets is falling on deaf ears, my friend. There are only a few trinkets that I will accept. And by a few, I mean like... I mean, literally there are a few I would probably take right now, but there's one that, above all else, is the most important. Please, please. I give us like a 25% chance. Now, I'm not... Uh, I'm not an actuary, and I didn't make the game. Anecdotally, seems to me like we maybe we got a one in four shot. And I, I think a one in four shot is not only, uh, in, in my best guess, apt, I think it's fairly optimistic. One in four things happen all the time. Did you watch me play Hand of Fade 2? We routinely beat chance card gambits, even though I had no business doing so, much of the time. Hey, stop walking into enemies. 
idiot. We got Papa Fly. We do have a Black Rune. Wow, just walked right into that. Um, I think you fight the boss here. You, you fight both bosses because you can leave. We, and this is like a new level of hot take. We might want to fight Hush. So that we can buy more battery charges. Squeezy is good in this situation. Thank you. We're looking for maybe a guppy dream on our deal with the devil, but it's it's fairly inconsequential. Rushing and rushing around. No guppy dream. So I'm gonna take nothing there. Alright. So we're still we're waiting on our first uh, Yara rune. Probably showing up at the corner of uh, Absolutely Never and See You Next Tuesday. Which I only recently realized is actually an acronym that's particularly offensive unless you live in Australia. In which case, it's what you call your friends. And if somebody's not your friend, you call them buddy. Despite the fact that buddy is typically a term you use for your friends. It's a very strange situation. I try not to think about it too much. There, it probably is true in many languages, but in English there's many things that you say that actually mean the opposite. You know, if I say watch it, buddy, that's not actually friendly. If anything, it's almost, I wouldn't say threatening, but it's aggressive. Watch it, buddy. It's like built-in assumed sarcasm. Anyway, what am I talking about? What I'm talking about is trying to get the heck... Let's go. It's our first Yera. Um, so that, uh, that Yera right now is a battery charge. What we would love to see is a second Yera. Um, because that second Yera is then where two battery charges. You know, things start to hit like an economy of scale that I can really get behind. And you can tell, this is like, I want it. Deep in my soul, I want this trinket. Otherwise, I wouldn't be min-maxing even close to this extent. I see that battery charge. That's the one we want to double. I just don't want to accidentally... Yara, Yara, Awaz, not really that good. Technically, it's probably worth it to... Uh... Yara, the Eternal Heart. Excuse me. Because we would then get one extra HP, but again, I'm I'm going all in here. It didn't matter if we saved the arrow rune. It would have given me some peace of mind, but it, it actually doesn't matter. We're gonna continue doing this. We're giving up our chance of the hush for this, and I, I stand by it, my lord. Uh, sack of sacks is amazing. I'm I'm very glad to see it. We should have picked it up earlier, but Yera, Yera. Sack of Sacks gives us the chance to get many, oh my lord, more uh, battery charges, so. There's two item rooms. I knew the Bloody Crown was good, I didn't know it actually built in some protection against XL floors. What a trinket, dude. Trash item, get out of here. We might be able to buy something, oh, that's not true. Mongo Baby's not good enough. Uh, not good enough. Yeah, eyeball tears with a knife, let's see what happens. Nothing. We've learned. Return another day to reroll that one more time. Please count as a double room. No double room. But a battery charge. Alright. Without a Yara rune, we're going to throw our, uh, our battery charges away here on an attempt. Please, God. Didn't work out. We still got two floors. We got many potential battery charges showing up. Again, I gave us a 25% chance. I stand by it. I stand by it. This was probably our best chance, but you know, there's room to there's room to grow in the future. And again, with Rune Bag, we could always keep it up and try for that Hail Mary, where we can get like five or six battery charges, get them duped, and then just start rolling. 
We're going up to the cathedral. In hindsight, maybe we should have gone to the hush fight, but uh, we skipped the hush. We skipped the palace. No secret room here. All right. Now, when you get a charge, you can just use it. That's no secret. You know, you might think, oh, Isaac's so complicated. I just miss the days where you could just point your uh, knife at something, shoot it, it dies, you feel good. Well, that would have been a great time for a battery to show up there. Uh, here's what we do, because we have a 48-hour energy. You do this room. That's fine. You get a natural charge. You come down here. You use this. That's not what we want. You take 48 hour energy and you pop it. You get some battery charges on the ground. You use that. You use Yera. We don't do it again. We resist the temptation. It's not the right time. There is a a win inside of us. What we need is one more Yara, or two more Yaras, or three more Yaras. For now, just enjoy. You're probably going to get a bunch of battery charges you don't deserve to begin with. Just keep popping those, you know? It's a little snack. And just know that in the kitchen of your favorite restaurant, they're cooking up a missing poster right now. And it's your favorite meal. It's the favorite meal of your entire existence. All you got to do is not spoil your dinner. Don't eat a $100 steak in a single bite, you know? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, batteries? Mm, track one of Metallica's debut album, mm, Battery. How about a battery? By the way, you might be looking at this and thinking, NL, you're gonna die, dude. Why are you focusing on missing posters so much? Actually, you know what? I'm looking at this now and I'm going, NL, you're an idiot. How the heck are you gonna get, there's no self-sacrifice room. <laughs> You have to die in a self-sacrifice room. There's no self-sacrifice room. Now it's just... Now that I've made that realization, I know. I know what happens next. We get the missing poster. It's the only thing that makes sense. It's gonna happen right now. It's poetic justice. There's a Parathro. And then a... Ansus. Doesn't matter, because we're getting missing... Hagalas. We're getting missing poster right here. Told you. Uh, well, I, I mean, in that case, I guess we're going to have to call this one another near miss. I'm sorry if I took a, a little bit of the tension out of the run here. Wasn't my intent. Wasn't my intent uh, to do that. It still could show up. I just don't think... There's any way for us to, to get a self-sacrifice room. In fact, the way that I thought we could get a self-sacrifice room is actually completely brain dead. And I'm going to tell it to you right now. I was like, well, what if we could find a self-sacrifice room? And then we uh, played it enough that we got teleported to the dark room. Then when we beat the lamb, we could do a victory lap. And we could get a self-sacrifice room. Do you notice the problem with this plan? It's predicated on the existence of the very room we're trying to get to in the first place. It's like oxygen not included. We're trying to power the pump. That pumps the hydrogen into our hydrogen generator with the hydrogen generator that generates the power in the first place. What, are we going to start it off with like a, a full tank of gas? Anyway, we probably will not unlock the Lost on this run. There's no... There's definitely no uh, sacrifice rooms on this delirium floor, I think. I hope. There's none here, but I'm trying to... See if there's any way out of this. If not, we're just going to have a fun run. I mean, Big Chubby? Good. Spoonbender? Very good. Bomber Boy? Give me a moment. This seems solid. At this point, I would really prefer if my Missing Poster didn't show up. What is that dim bulb? So many 48 hour energies. Um, let's just move on for now. 
I want to use sad mode. The run, at the very least, I mean, I, I've had an entertaining time trying to piece this one together and get it to work to begin with, but uh, it's also been a fun run. Like, it, it, it's been strong, but it's been uh, enjoyable. Surely I can't look at this run as being, like, a waste of my time. Speed up, at least. Uh, might not have, at least at the outset here, accomplished the goal that we set out for, but you know what? We got 99 homing sad bombs. And that makes me very happy. I think we're two away from spun, but I'll take it anyway. He's gonna say, take me down to one HP, see if I care. Batwing, don't make me laugh. I know that our bloody crown does nothing for us, but we still owe it a great debt of gratitude. The guys. Uh, Reroll this into missing poster, please. Did not work. I can't believe how long we've been... We're looking for Eden's Blessing, essentially, now. I can't believe how long we've been looking for a missing poster to show up. It's been like 20 runs of giving it our all, like a Rise Against track. Like, we're really going for it here, dude. Did not even on the final room as like a cosmic joke. You offend me, sir. Right here? Is this the one? Nope. They, they're really playing it close to the chest. For now, thanks for watching. I'm a little uh, aghast, but if you enjoyed the run, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.